やっぱたまらんわ !Man, I love this! Okay, there's the round which Shijo will take. Yep. Is this rated 18? <laughs> I was going to ask the same thing. I think this is actually. Oh, okay. This is actually a very fast way. Taking head in the shins? What the hell, Akiha? That's toxic. <laughs> Perfecto! Wow, and Shijo instantly went for the perfect, what a statement! There we go, going for the bento, setting it up behind Akiha this time, but pressuring her to the corner instantly with the dust cloud. The mix up incoming here, of course, going for the shield to escape the invisible pressure. Does not want to deal with it at all, just uh, shielding most of the projectiles as well, all right? Seeing that, what will you do though? Because shielding the pressure won't help you with the health lead, because the chip, it all will matter when those seconds hit zero. Absolutely, and there's a grab from Shijo. Okay, good backdash from uh, Jin, JP whiffs. And it's still though, the uh, history player trying to walk that is plus on block. But uh, Shijo does not care, comes away. Real, trying to pile up the pressure, there's the EX ring, keeping Jin blocking, forcing the way to the corner, the moon ring, and Jin now with the back door is the corner, the DP, no confirm, but still Shijo with a decent life advantage, which is all due to chip damage, remember. Oh, painting the moon, the puck hitting Akiha on the ground, there's a grab from Jin, but the EX DP, have seen it so many times against Mai, and Shijo not afraid to bring it out against Jin as well. Yeah, there we go. The life lead definitely on Shijo's side, but Jing trying to find a way, going for a safe heat, but getting a grab out of the air instantly. Shijo overtaking it. Of course, as you are blocking, you will get no health regen when in heat. Oh, trying to clash, but wins out. Getting a lot of priority on the knockdown. Five more seconds. What are you gonna do, Jin? Your time! Smart from Shijo! The grab a little bit too late, and Jin unfortunately cannot get the life lead. Uh, yeah, very, very smart and very good defense as well from Shijo. The Hisui pressure in the corner, of course, not easy to block at all. Mm -hmm. And Shijo, good defense, escapes at the perfect timing and gets the first game on, uh, on the board. Of course, the first of seven. Plenty of games potentially left. We did see a 13 game set from Shija against Moai, so I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case between these two again. Right, there we see. Oh, instantly going for the face. Oh, he's be trying to chase an Akiha into the air, going for an air to air conversion, but no, the ring was already there, already active, and Jing being pushed into the corner. Of course, this is where Akiha really shines, where the pressure is insane, getting pushed out of the corner, going for a left right. But Jing, knowing the matchup, very important to show that on early, right? So you can't really do your shenanigans and get away with it. Oh, there we go. Oh, painting the moon into the ring conversion. Like to see, and look at the damage as well. Just at the very start, already 20% of your health is gone, and then just end the combo, right? Oh! <laughs> and Shizu again, throwing out the ring. Jin, not even given a chance to respond. EX command grab, just a range as well. It doesn't have the best of ranges, so Shizu very, very good at calculating how far Jin was. I don't know, just looking in your face, you with the ladle, there's the air throw, which side, left or right, goes right, but Shijo does not guess right. Yeah, these C-rank players really got hands, don't they? <laughs> in Japan. <laughs> oh, backdashing, trying to backdash a throw attempt, but being pushed down back to the ground. No escaping for you, Shijo, but look at the defense and the active defense as well. Just mashing out of the pressure. Finally found a gap in the pressure that Jing was performing. And now instantly trying to overtake it. Went for the left, right, into the low. Now trying to corner carry him into the corner again. Nope, went for the grab out of corner to go for the left-right situation. There we go, the shield A will punish Shijo trying to get a hit on not shielding back. That's Jing finally taking around. Well, we needed round here for uh, Jin, but Shijo was uh, looking to make the comeback happen. Oh, J.A. Fatal, though. 
to uh, be a nice chunk of damage for a Jin. Uh, 4.4k. The air throw, mid screen, goes for the left right again. Oh my god, the XDP actually neutralizing the uh, left right in the air from uh, Jin went for an overhead left right, but Kijo is having none of it. Oh, and the uh, frame trap as well. Yeah, absolutely. Showing early on the Akia is not to be trifled with. Of course, Jing escaping the corner, but no escape anymore. We simply side switch off the left right. Being pushed into the corner yet. Yeah. Jing with the projectile game. Oh! oh. <laughs> Shake my hand. GG. That was, that was a lot of damage for that 2BC. Oh, yeah. And absolutely. yeah, Shijo comes out on top. That is 2-0. For Ishijo, who has started off so, so strong, carrying over the momentum from the previous set. Jin may have cooled off a little, so uh, maybe a little bit unfortunate, but it's first or seven, there's plenty of games. So Jin will definitely be warming up, but Shijo right now playing so, so well. Oh my god, never mind, the phase of content from Jin, that's going to do a grip. Yeah, absolutely needed it as well, right? Because Jing has lost two games in a row now. I don't think Jing is used to it, at least seeing from the last set into this one. Never in a deficit, but now is in a game deficit for sure. Shido trying to chase down the shield BC attempt. But there's nothing to convert off it. Going for the shield on the projectile. Went for the chase down after the backdash, getting a hit on Jing, of course. Going for the little side switch and into the grab, most likely in the air. And then into a left-right situation again. Oh, just jumping over the low shield. Very smart. The shield was held, of course. If you're in there, you're going to get punished, probably. So you might as well hold in. Hope they're going for a uh, delayed low. There we go, getting the heat, does not want to deal with the pressure, does not want to lose this round, getting a hit once again, going for the super here, might as well if you spend it all anyway, getting a round win, very important here for Jim. And uh, could be a, a game on the board, the pattern of on hit, jumping over the uh, lamp. Okay, the punish from Shijo, not sure if that was a real punish, but still. Finding the spot with the 2BC again, and I've been user of that move skill Shijo. The defense from Jindo, all the rights have been blocked, shield on the 5BC, and then shield B, no fault ever, as it's a uh, of Shijo on the defensive. As Jin once again goes in, good heat from a Shijo. Okay, the jump back, earning Jin a uh, fatal counter. It was going to be an around blockable, but instead, Jin. Something better. Yeah, Fatal Count is obviously skyrocketing your damage, so the same combo will just simply do more. That's very important. There we go. Finding a max range overhead <laughs> on CJ, oh. getting a Fatal once again. Yeah, and that's cleanly going to be the end of this game. It's 1 to 2. Jing showing that. Oh, wait a minute. I have to win, actually. So uh, let me just do that. Because this, this was very convincing, I feel like. <laughs> The sound effect as well from Hisu sounded like she slapped Akiha out of the air. Like, <laughs> <laughs> What's this uh, mosquito doing here? Uh, that was a difficult game for Jin to win. Couldn't let Shijo go 3-1 or 3-0 up. Starting off with the charge has been customary in uh, all three games so far. Shijo definitely a big fan of charging but Jin, big fan of chairs. As one goes straight into Akiha's face. To be good damage and corner pressure as well. No, it's that Jin often go for these left rights time and time again. And this is why finding an opening could buy to more than 50% of Shijo's HP and probably setting up another left right. Mm -hmm. oh. We grab. We grab those. Oh, getting the overhead as well. It's such a good button, especially on the mix up when you simply jump forward, float a little bit with Akiha JB. It hits so low. And if she's right above you, it might as well hit center. There's no way you're gonna block that. All right, there we go. Getting hit once again. Three meters on deck for the Hisui, though. But you're not going to spend it in this round. Getting opened up on the dome. But Jing, what are you cooking? Oh, oh damn. Uh, fatal counter, unfortunately, no follow up. She jumped. Rest she easy for a bit. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. Bento into the table, into... Yep, just guess, bro. We cooking cakes. Is that actually like gapless? Are you forced to block the bento into the big bento, or can you jump out? Uh, I think it's a little bit it, risky. It looks... If you spend resources, it looks uh, gapless. Chill, should be the block. Giving away the turn, however. The ladle, pushing Akeha all the way to the corner. The uh, dust cloud not hitting, but Jin still sniping the back dash. Four bars on deck. To the air throw. No, going for the EX instead. More pressure in the corner. Good shield from Shijo. But the uh, B follow up getting punished. Jin equalizes round count. One more round to equalize the whole game. Yeah, it's going to be very important because if Shijo wins this uh, game, it's going to be a very big mental lead, especially. Not just game lead, but a very big mental lead as well. But as Jin, if he wins this one, he's mentally probably ahead because it's uh, two wins in a row. But let's see if it's going to go there. We, we're seeing reversals after reversal. Oh, the chair completely shielded into simply grabbing. And there we go. The blood heat shielded. And that is a very big win for Shijo. Will you cash it all out? Yep, there we go. Into the overhead. Not finishing it. Not going for the super. But there we go. Getting a hit once again. Shijo. Very nice win here. Very good stuff from uh, Shijo. A lot of uh, a lot of offense. These uh, these final situations mm -hmm. where uh, you're one throw away from dead. Shijo can navigate them so well because there's the threat of the throw. So Shijo's like dashed into low, and you're just outplayed trying to tech throw. Mm -hmm. and just like that, Shijo goes three games to one up. Looking really really strong. Yeah, there we go. Jumping over the donut though. Just charging full screen, getting projectiles out. Oh, and again, just sniping out of the air. Shijo is really good at those. There's some nice damage on the board into the meaty. But good blocks for so far from Jin. Trying to escape the corner using the BC projectiles. And oh my, just waking up with buttons. Winning out as well. Getting the OTG corner carry. Very important again. The heat to escape the pressure. What are you going to do now? The Fendo as Shijo doing full well that the heat is still going strong. So try to keep Jin in the block string. Oh, Fatal Counter picks it up again with the reach of very good stuff here from Shijo. Let's go for a left right with backdash from Jin. He, the Moon item toss still doing nothing. Okay. So that scramble though. The rain whips on Jin and Jin. Why is Yeah, I feel like Jing was really sniping for fatal counters where he knows Shijo really likes to press buttons, especially when in the air or like that moon drive being grabbed instantly. Nice blocks, by the way, Shijo. Let's go. Really like to see those escaping the corner. But again, just approaching over the ring and just getting a low there. Shijo getting hit. Will this be a kill? Could be barely spending one meter, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Jing getting a round win in this fifth game. Trying to close the gap. Picks it up again. The uh, drive by the jump in. Fatal. So picked up by Jin. Okay, uh, a good number. Oh, but once again, the uh, left right overhead denied by the uh, wake up XDP from Shijo. Sets up another ring. But dash up throw from Shijo. Delayed overhead with the air dash. Very smart there. Jin was flinching one more time. A lot of damage for Shijo. One more touch could be enough to take the round. Oh my god, everything is hitting for Shijo. That should be the round, and it is. Damn. Yeah, I really like the mental back and forth as well because she just said, Oh, you're respecting me a little bit too much in the corner. Let me abuse better that by going for a delayed overhead. And then Jing said, Oh, so you're doing that because I respect you. Let me mash. But Shijo was again just one step ahead saying that, Okay, I show you this. Now you're going to mash. And Disney went for another hit and just won the round like that. Very nice play from Shijo there. Of course, winning out in this third round as well. Oh, the mash out kept himself low so he would not get punished by the ring hovering above their head. 
There we go, Jin overtaking it after the side squish. Simply keeping it meaty, going for some overheads, and again, invisible. What are you gonna do against that? I don't even know what Jin did. Like, probably not even <laughs> Shijo knows uh, if they were hit. As a moon drive spent on from Shijo still getting hit in the air. A lot of recoverable life for Shijo. Could definitely be recovered, but I don't think we'll go for a save heat yet. Can he go the way to the corner? The drops! And that will benefit Jane, who will be able to steal the round and once again close the gap from 3 1 to 3 2. A painful, painful drop for Shijo, and Jim will definitely welcome it with open arms. Oh, absolutely, because it was 1-3. to three. Two game deficit now finally is closing the gap once again. There's a very important win for Jing, but Jing has to get one more for when it actually matters, I feel like. Because being being ahead is such a big mental victory because you can start taking more risks, but if you're like behind someone, you're gonna have to work for it. Yeah, 100%. And that has definitely spoken uh, volumes in terms of the confidence. Shijo has played so, so well. Mm -hmm. Just like those risks, the EMTP has been able to block this time. Uh, okay. Another grab. Empty hop to grab. And Jin now one round away from equalizing the whole set. And starting off with the air to air fatal, unfortunately, the drop. Will negate a lot of damage. Four beasts being slapped out of the sky <laughs> with the frying pan. Hisu is a cartoon character, it's mine. Ding, <laughs> ding, ding. ding. Uh, there we go. Ooh, trying to paint the moon, but you didn't even have a brush. Alright, there we go, getting a hit once again. Pan noises into the full combo, into the grab probably, of course, yeah. And then we go for a left-right situation. It was the low, setting up the big bento. But that was not a true combo there, but the projectiles will snipe Shijo out. And that was a very convincing win again from Jing, getting a perfect here. That's a perfect game. Shut up, Nick Har. Come on. No lies today. It was amazing from, uh, from Jin there. That was a, a weird setup there with the uh, mm -hmm. I think two A and two Big Bento the cake. Yeah. Um, the combo ended up dropping. Not sure if it was a mistake or it actually like was a setup on block to uh, to have a free mix up on Shijo. But fact is, Jin was able to clean it up and then take it to uh, three games apiece. So now first to four situation, and Jin once again with a huge momentum boost. Uh, winning two games in a row, and that is definitely showing so much confidence yep. for the uh, evil Vegas champion. And, and you know what other set started out like that? It was uh, the last set, it went all the way to game 13 last round of uh, Moai against uh, Shido. So we might see another 13 game banger here. There you go, getting banged up by the chair instantly. Getting hit, Shijo being pushed into the corner by the big bento and then going for the grab into out of the corner. Going for the left right, of course, again painting the moon. The only thing you're gonna paint is your own demise as you're getting punched up by the pan here. Getting KO'd. Jing taking another convincing round. And that's three rounds in a row. She's here, as you said, like relying a little bit too much on that EXDP. Now Jin is uh, smelling them out. We'll see now Shijo, okay, the delay in the uh, block string, catching Jin, pressing buttons, maybe trying to uh, jump away. But Shijo finally finding once again the corner pressure situation, we haven't seen this in a while, and once it happens though, Shijo can be so deadly. There is uh, two bars for Magic Circus, not spent just yet, Shijo wanting to go for the kill, pressure, block string, okay, 2-1-4-B into the ring. And Shijo gets around. Uh, both of them were who's perfect. <laughs> That's gonna say a lot, I think. <laughs> we're jumping into the ring. We've been seeing the jump into the ring quite a lot. I think it's actually uh, Jing trying to make Shijo a little bit scared of the potential approach incoming, where he just gets bounced back like, okay, I'm safe again. I don't know, like, maybe an Akiha player can confirm, but does blocking a ring, like, decrease the duration? Because maybe that's what Jing is doing. Like, forcing some blocks done to make the ring last less. As Shijo now, with a monumental life lead, the plot is used up from Jin. 
the follow-ups from Shijo have to be very careful because one shield can blow their life up. There to win. Oh, the JP Fatal! Shijo will be building up three bars, but that won't be enough to kill. Spending one though, will it Shijo in a very good situation? Is it going to be a high? Is it going to be a low? Is it going to be a throw? Good shield from Jin! And then the fall was not how Slap him up into the back throw. Yep, and that means a left-right situation once again. Jump back, hoping there was going to be a low shield. This time it was not. And that means that Shijo is safe and safe enough to get a hit here. The victory hit for Shijo will make sure that he is up a game once again. Shijo is in the lead and Jing has to uh, chase behind him. As has been the story of the set so far. Uh, <laughs> I wish. Um, but yeah, so far Shijo has been always in the lead in the set. And now Shijo has gone over the halfway mark. Mm -hmm. So that is three games to win for Shijo. Of course, just one more for Jin to get the uh, the victory at four games. But it's still definitely a very good mental aspect of fighting games to be in the lead. Once again, EXDP, fantastic shield reaction though from Jin. Once again, these uh, panic DPs are really, really swinging the momentum towards Jin. Yeah, but will it keep swinging his way? Shijo escaping the corner, pushing Jing into the corner, getting the OTG after the trade. Low enough hit stun. There we go. With the heat to escape the corner pressure. Also get some life back, but no, you're not gonna get this life back anymore. Getting hit here means being pushed into the corner again. And the corner position is actually where Akia shines, so it's, it's crazy how much corner carry she has uh, anyway. To make her game plan uh, work that strongly. Okay, Jin going for the throw again. Left right situation. Kept same side. And Shijo was simply not ready for it. Looking very good for Jing right now. The resources are on his side as well. Like, even though the meter is on Shijo's side, the moon drive is where uh, Jing is ahead. Be building, building up with the EX. What's going to be some of this left drive? Okay, the full drive. In reply, there's a grab from uh, Jin. Was oh, trying to force the issue in the corner. The invisible mix this Ooh, time, though. Yeah. Not correctly, there was a J as well. This guy's behind it. Is correct. Three actors for the Akiha player. As that ring still does not keep Jin at bay. We'll still find an opening. One Will EX. get the super? Oh, that one kill. We did. Wouldn't have killed so no. But one more. Something to be enough to kill. Okay, there. Wow, had the read, but it was delayed. Very well done by uh, Shicho. Getting the delayed blood heat. Nothing you can do here. If he shield, it's got. Oh, ooh, good flow with the forward grab into uh, getting a hit there. Good blocks from Shijo as well so far, escaping all of the pressure, walking forward into the bento, shielding it. And there we go, safe again. The ring popping a little bit his way, but not enough to get a full combo. Jin, to get a little bit of pressure, has definitely a lot of far moves that is available for Shijo. There it is spent, the shield being, getting a fatal counter as well. Shijo trying to swing this one their way, fantastic. 2BC once again, Shijo now getting the life link. One more guess, and this could be the round for the Akiha player. Jin has to be defending in the corner. Fantastic low shield. The eight seconds on the clock that is bought for Jin. We'll go for the super, but instead, we will go for the big Extend it. Keep extending it. Oh, winning off of a timeout. So smart from Jin. I think Jin could have uh, gone for like a super. Not sponsored, by the way. And then, um, and then, like, into getting a potential kill. But I think that he saw the timer and said, you know what, I'm just going to go for a very lengthy combo. Time him out, so I absolutely have to win here. I think that was very smart from Jing. And it really shows uh, composure uh, from the player. I think Jin was a little bit not confident that Super would have killed. So uh, if, if it wouldn't have killed, Shijo could have used heat to stop the time. So it was very, very smart and aware from Jin to extend the combo as much as possible, not giving Shijo any time to press any button. So as you said, very smart from Jin. I started off this ninth game with authority here, locking Shijo in the corner, but Shield BC 
is going to be a lot of damage. The first shield we see, I think, we've seen she drop it on the day. 40 damage, but she does not care. 2A to beat Shijo and storm out of the corner. Reaction as well with the shield on the moon skill and Chip for the first time in the set is in the lead. Yep, very important. A mental win for sure. Went for the anti air, but no, it whiffed, but we still plus on whiff. As long as you're in the air, I don't care. There we go, getting the hit and into the left right situation near the corner. Actually, surprised he did go for the um, for the cross up, so he was gonna be out of the corner because that's absolutely where um, Akia wants you to be, right? Clashing with the BC skill, jumping away of course, and we are out of the corner instantly. And now it's back to Nuke, getting some shield charge, but wow, what good patience! Instantly went for the low, very well thought out button used as well. For the maximum punish there. Walking back, maybe thinking that was gonna be a heat, but punishing the approach anyway. The 4BC there, this should from Jin. Thing up another opportunity. One more correct guess will be the game for Jin. The back dash for Jinjo not punished. It's still not a good spot. That heat is waiting to be popped. The blood heat. Probably Jin wants to have it baited though. Trying to keep the distance, trying to space the button so well. Defending so many EXs. The chip damage brought Shijo in kill range with a throw. And Jin definitely taking it. And for the first time again, Jin in the lead in the set. Five games to four. What a, what a moment actually to go in the lead. <laughs> the 2-2 two -two Adidas. <laughs> Alright, let's see. There was a bit of a hiccup in between matches here, but let's see if the replay just works again. Yep, there we go. We instantly go into the next game. It is 5-4. to four. Jing finally found the lead. And it couldn't have been a better moment as well, because only two more wins for Jin will make sure that he will finish this first to seven. Of course, Shijo, trading on this uh, endless path, only one step behind. Getting punched up in the corner. Oh, I, oh, I thought I saw a button on the moon drive, but uh, luckily it was just nothing. <laughs> and again, the uh, EX faking the moon is blocked by Jin. Be another air throw. No, it's seven for the uh, the X laser. The higher shield is blown up. This should be around for Jin here. If uh, there aren't any drops, doesn't even need to spend bar as well. Very, very optimal for Jin. And now Shijo maybe getting a little bit in their own head because they're uh, suffering a little bit too much. Yeah, of course, the Bento exploding behind the back, extending the pressure from Jing on Akia. Look at the chip damage already. 10% gone, just like that. Of course, it is recoverable with heat or with shield. If you shield a hit, you will gain some life back. But if you hit the opponent, <laughs> they will lose some life. That's, uh, that's crazy. It's not finding a hook. All right, let's go into the pressure once again. Trying to reset it with the jump back into the ring, but... Jing finds a way to punish Shijo's approach and finds a good combo as well. Going for the throw into the left-right situation. Stayed same side. Wow! Went for 2A, 2B to catch a potential backdash. And the backdash was punished. Getting a hit once again. There's no way to get a super here. So no kill yet. But went for the overhead. And there we go. Jing suddenly in a 6-4 position only one more win for him and he wins the entire set rexu there's still so much that can happen but what does shijo need to do according to you to at least get one more victory hey don't put it on me i'm not the coach uh but it's it's an interesting spot shijo this is. is literally the uh the mirror of uh, of shijo's last set shijo was in the lead 6-4 and why actually uh, was able to fight back. Let's see if Shijo will be able themselves to uh, bring this one level. As uh, I think maybe trying to slow the pace down could work out because Jin's pacing is absolutely tremendous. The pressure is so hard to be consistent at uh, 
denying Jin their damage, and there it is, run up throw to BC, though, catching the button from Jin, who thought to try to uh, take advantage of Moodred being minus two on activation, but there's another phase of counter hit, the side switch combo as well, and Jin, once again, risking to run away with it. Yeah, Moon Drive is gone as well for Shijo, so no crazy reversals anymore. We saw reversal, but it was simply a back dash, getting punched up again. Has two meter to spend, the damage could be there, but I don't think you can go into uh, more after that. See, skill and getting punched up. There we go. Jing on match point. One more round victory, and Jing will take this entire set, will take the nice prize pool. But Shijo has to be working to make sure that doesn't happen. He's beating them all. Lands. But some good damage for uh, Shijo. Okay, the EX dust. Okay, 5A from Shijo. Not willing to uh, block for one more second. Carries Jin all the way to the corner. There's very aggressive heat from Jin to uh, escape. Okay, the. Uh, or B, if I'm not mistaken, the watering can. <laughs> yeah, make the, the make the feet wet so they don't move as much anymore. <laughs> make Maybe uh, she just can slip up here and she will pull it the pieces. So once again, the combo is going up the left, right. No drive from Shijo into the arm drive. All right, desperation measures. But that's a lively one more touch. Maybe enough. This could that could be enough. Oh, reset actually, Jim. Pressing yeah. buttons there. Dropping the combo first, then getting a reset, making sure that the damage would actually get a kill without spending meter air unblockable. Unfortunate for Shijo, but Jing definitely wants this win right now. Does not want to play anymore uh, before Shijo adapts too much. Oh, the jump back on the heat. It couldn't be worse for Shijo than this. Spending. Only one meter, I think, to get uh, to get some good damage here. The heat is completely gone. Shijo out of resources. How are you going to fight back, Shijo? So, uh, I don't think they help Shijo build up some resources, though. They would have a charge into the shield. Okay, very, very hopeful jump shield from Jim. I'm trying to expect the ring, but Shijo. Definitely no better in the situation. 4k damage, left, right, set up. Moon drive from Jin into the back dash. The moon ring. Not enough of follow up though from Shijo. Oh, and this could be the beginning of the end. A little bit too hopeful with those rings. Jin can collect the pieces and finish off the set. 7 to 4 to be the winner of the JP Melty Blood Wanted card. Such a sublime performance.